Although Thomas loves traveling, he sometimes hesitates when boarding an airplane. It's not that he's afraid of terrorism, but still. In Europe, we don't have to think about terrorism every day. Sadly, however, there are still some individuals who think they can reach their ideological goals through terrorism. They represent a threat for the rights and freedoms of all. So how does Europe fight terrorism? The EU fight is based on three axes. Firstly, preventing recruitment. By stopping recruitment, the EU wants to eliminate terrorism at its source. How? By disrupting individuals and networks that draw people into terrorism. By ensuring that the voices of mainstream opinion prevail over those of extremism. By promoting security, justice, democracy and the same opportunities for everyone. Secondly, impeding access to explosives. Nearly all terrorist attacks in the last years have been conducted using explosives. Most of these have been homemade using widely distributed chemical products available to any member of the general public. Limiting access to these chemicals and detecting and deterring threats to transport and energy infrastructures improves security for everyone. Thirdly, cutting terrorist funding. Terrorist organizations constantly modify their ways of collecting funds, so the EU needs to keep abreast of how they do it and so deprive them of the money they need to commit their crimes. If they've got no money, there's no terrorism. Terrorism is a criminal act that knows no borders. To fight it, we have to act on a European and even a worldwide level, while always respecting human rights and freedoms. The EU helps promote the vital cooperation between national police authorities to pursue terrorists. Many people work hard to create a safe Europe. It means that Thomas doesn't have to worry too much and can still sleep peacefully when taking a plane.